Macs are quite powerful machines, and regardless of how long you may have been using a Mac for, there'll always be things that you didn't know it could do. That's what this video is about, telling you about some cool Mac tricks that I think you may not know about, at least not all of them. Hey guys, I'm Akshay from bbomb.com and in this video, I'll tell you about some cool and useful Mac tricks that you may not know about. Before we get started though, make sure you hit the bell icon to get notifications for all of our future videos. Now that you've done that, let's get started. There are situations when you may want to rename multiple files at the same time. Fortunately, Finder on a Mac offers an easy way to do just that. So if I want to rename all of these screenshots to screenshot 1, screenshot 2, etc, I can just select them, right click and choose rename 6 items. Then I can choose the format I want to use to rename the images and once I am done setting it up, I can click on rename and all the files will be renamed. If you've been using a Mac for some time, you must have noticed the lack of a keyboard shortcut to lock the computer. Windows uses Windows plus L for this, but there was no such shortcut on macOS. Fortunately, Apple has added the functionality in the latest version of macOS, macOS High Sierra. You can now simply press command Control q to lock your system. It will lock your Mac immediately. Smart folders are a very useful feature that a lot of people don't make use of. Personally, I love the smart folders functionality on a Mac and I have set up a smart folder that automatically collects all of my images created in the last one day and keeps them all in one place. To create a smart folder, all you need to do is go to File, New Smart Folder. There you can add rules that dictate what kind of files should be kept in the folder. Once you're done, just click on Save and the smart folder gets to work for you. If you're like me, you prefer to keep the dock hidden until it's needed. However, the animations for showing and hiding the dock are just a bit too slow, to be honest. Thankfully, with a simple terminal command, you can speed the animation up quite a bit. Just launch terminal and use the following command. You will find all of the commands I mentioned in this video in the description below. As you can see, the dock's animations look a lot snappier now. I definitely prefer it this way. Let's just face it, we all love emojis. And wouldn't it be a lot of fun if we could use them everywhere? Well fortunately, you can easily access the emoji keyboard on Mac by just pressing Ctrl Command Space. This will give you access to all the emojis and symbols you may ever need. So go ahead and type out your emails with as many emojis as you like. Macs have some really awesome shortcuts for taking screenshots. By default, screenshots are saved on the desktop in the PNG format. This is good, but PNG uses up a lot of space. So, if you'd much rather save your screenshots in a different format like JPEG, you can just use the following terminal command. Once you've done this, subsequent screenshots will be saved in the JPEG format which usually has a much smaller size. I love keyboard shortcuts and I use them all the time. However, every now and then, I wish I could have a custom shortcut for a task I do often. Well, this can also be done rather easily. Just go to System Preferences, Keyboard, Shortcuts. Here, go to App Shortcuts. Select the app you want to set up the shortcut for and follow the instructions on the screen. Once you're done, you can save the shortcut and then use it within the app you created it for. So, I can now use command option S inside preview to resize images, something that I do quite often. So you just got a PDF you need to sign. Don't head over to the printer yet. You can easily sign PDFs and forms directly on your Mac. Just open the file in preview, click on the markup button and then on the signature button. 
Here, you can add a digital signature by simply signing a name on the trackpad. You can then use this signature in any documents or forms that you may need to. Easy, right? I may be the only one, but there are times when I need to copy multiple separate lines in MS Word. I could copy and paste every single line, but turns out there's an easier way. Just press and hold command and select whichever lines you need to. You can then copy them and paste them wherever you want. You can also press and hold option to select text in a rectangular region. Something I don't think will ever be useful, but it's good to know just in case. If you've ever put a large file on download, you know that you cannot let your Mac go to sleep. That usually kills the download. So unless you want to keep staring at your screen, ensuring that your laptop doesn't go to sleep, you should use Caffeinate. Just launch terminal and use the following command. Your Mac will then stay awake for the time you've mentioned in the command, leaving you free to get some coffee while your download completes. Siri has had quite a lot of bad publicity, but it's actually not all that bad. The smart assistant can let you send out tweets, change system settings, check storage and even pin results to your notification center. Also, with macOS High Sierra, you can interact with Siri by just typing without having to say a single word and without looking like an idiot on the bus to work. Spotlight is usually one of the most used features on any Mac. However, a lot of you may not know this. When searching for apps in Spotlight, you can just type the app's initials and Spotlight would find it for you. So you can type AS for App Store, GB for GarageBand, PD for Parallels Desktop and more. You can also use emojis to search stuff on Spotlight. So I can use the pizza emoji to have Spotlight look up pizza places near me, among other things. It's really awesome. Well, those were some of the coolest and most useful Mac tricks that you probably didn't know about. But which one of them is your favorite? Do let us know in the comment section below. Also, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's all from my side. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.